Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Zach Lesage here. Today, we're going to be covering over the Kurachiba winning deck, and that is Charizard EX. Now, if you haven't watched the regionals or seen really much any coverage from it, we had five Charizard EX decks in the top eight of the regionals that happened in Brazil this weekend. Now, I'm going to be covering over what happened um, with the deck, show you the deck list that won, all that great stuff. What I've also done is now that we have Pokemon 151, it was not legal for this regionals. I've slightly updated this list um, with Pokemon 151. So if you are heading to Peoria, um, any League Cups uh, starting October 6th, uh, basically you could start playing with the new version of this deck already. So really a jam-packed video. Um, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like subscribe to the shuffle squad we're on our way to 20,000 subs so any help would really be appreciated tell your friends tell your family all that good stuff um and of course list is available in the description if you are trying to pick up any of the cards for this uh deck or any decks at all head over to deck out gaming head over to atlas collectibles head over to ptcgl store and pick up some sealed singles codes using all the discount codes that we have available in the description Again, you can copy and paste the list right out of the description, right into PTCG Live. That being said, let us know what you think about this deck in the comments, and let's jump into it. Want to support the Shuffle Squad? Be sure to check out all of our sponsors in the description to pick up Pokemon TCG singles, sealed, and PTCG Live codes. And here we have it. This is William Azevedo's winning list from the Brazil Regional Championships that happened this past weekend. I do want to note again, we did have five Charizard decks in the top eight, which is wild because I know Charizard's powerful and we might have seen it at a League Cup, League Challenge, and I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, yo, I see this all the time on the ladder. Probably because Pokemon gave everyone free Charizard decks, by the way. Um, it did make top eight as a Lost Zone variant um, in, Bar in the Barcelona special event. Now, in this case, um, Charizard EX is cutting the Arceus uh, V-Star that was played in a lot of the other decks just to go with Pidgeot. Um, and also went with four Arvins. So, I mean, the goal of this deck is load up Zard, attack with Infernal Rain. Maybe you attack early game with Entei, and maybe you'll attack late game with Radiant Charizard or Charizard EX, depending on what your needs are. Uh, we got Mew to search for either Lost Vacuums or for Rare Candy. And we have a Lumineon package that can use for Seal Stone with either Entei V or uh, Lumineon so that we have ways out of path or we're looking for those missing cards. So kind of taking half of an Arceus V-Star, giving ourselves some additional attackers and some additional support Pokemon. Um, you might be wondering why Mawile is played in this deck. Uh, sometimes you can hit a Lugia deck or some other decks that have no switching outs to some Pokemon in play. So if you bring up something like a Radiant Serena in a Lugia deck, uh, with boss's orders, you search it out, you play it on Mawile. Uh, they can't retreat, they don't play any switch. Um, a lot of lists don't play jet energy, so Mawile can trap a lot of these Pokemon up in the active spot. Um, Arvin searching for the Forest Seal Stone or a Choice Belt, and usually a rare candy or whatever missing piece you're looking for. And the rest of the deck is generally standard, um, going with Lost City over Magma Basin or uh, Artisan that we've seen in other lists. I think Lost City is probably a good choice considering we're just looking to bump things and we're not looking to help out our opponent or anything else like that. So this is a pretty solid list um, if I've ever seen one. And I think this is really where I was thinking where Charizard is going to evolve as soon as players start putting more effort into it. I guess the effort happened on the last regionals legal in the Obsidian Flames format. We have no more regionals majors in this format. However, we do get Pokemon 151, which adds a handful of cards um, to this deck and to the format. Um, and is legal for Peoria, which is just about, it's less than two weeks away at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this list, um, how I've updated it, um, and why I've updated it. And we'll go from there and then we'll go into some gameplay because we are about to be Pokemon 151. So if you want to play one Obsidian Flames at a cop challenge locals online event, go with this one. If you want to test for Peoria, any of your upcoming events, or just get a feel for that deck in this, in that format, we got that too. So we got you covered for that. Again, give the likes. It helps boost the YouTube algorithm. Come on, let's go. So here we have it. We've updated this deck slightly. 
Um, biggest changes that we've made is we've updated the Charmander uh, to the new one. We have 70 HP, so we're going to take the 10 HP bump. It's going to give us a slightly better Lost Zone box matchup because they just can't go Sableye, Snipe, 60-60, and knock out two Charmanders. Um, the Blazing, uh, whatever the attack is, I think it's Blazing Destruction, discard the stadium from play. So if we ever get path locked, at least we have a built-in path, like, counter um as an additional measure like it's probably not going well if you're attacking with a charmander but it's better than hitting for 30 damage or so um at least right now uh we also bumped up to the new charmeleon from pokemon 151 because it has a hundo hp uh the extra 10 hp will just always take a little bit of a slight bump think of it like iphone 14 pro max to the iphone 15 pro max it's really not going to be that different little things like titanium little things like a better battery life little things like this is literally what we're doing to this deck list. We got some new Pokemon, and it just coincidentally happens that we got new Charmanders, Charmeleons. We also got new Pidgeys. Um, the Pidgey, we actually took a hit in the HP, but Call for Family does allow us to search for multiple Pokemon, so we are going to go with that one. Um, one thing that we have done is cut the Mawile out of this deck, and I don't know if Mawile is going to be great next format, especially considering Lugia Colorless plays four Jet Energy, so they have ways to get out of that Mawile loop. Um, and it's poised to be one of the better decks in formats. Now, we have to see because Lugia typically has a poor Charizard EX matchup right now. Um, and we'll have to see how it ends up working out. But I do imagine that it makes sense for us to um, cut the Mawile because it's not going to really be cutting. And I don't necessarily know if we need it for that particular matchup. There might be other matchups that it's worthwhile. And I'd like to hear some more from William Azevedo himself. But we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I added a Mew EX over the Mawile just because we can load it up with Charizard EX and copy whatever we want. With Pidgeot being able to search for whatever you wanted of the deck, I can imagine situations where we could hit a Lost Zone box um bring up their radiant uh greninja and rip some uh rip some 90 90 damage to win the game or something like that gives us like an open opportunity against a lot of decks um even against like a Gyratina v-star deck we could just smoke them for 280 damage if we're not at that stage for charizard x so a lot of opportunities there um we might need another super rod if we add in the mew so that is something that i'm keeping in the back of my mind again early list for pokemon 151 based off of the regionals winning list um everything else is the same in the deck as far as i can tell i don't think i've made any other changes really just adding in some attack some pokemon uh one two three four pokemon from the 151 set i do think that there is an, an opportunity for erica's invitation to be good in this deck because you could use pidgeot to search it out however um we can knock out pretty much whatever we want with charizard x so at that point i think i'd rather have the boss but we will see how it all plays out that being said i will jump into some gameplay this list um and the and the other lists are both going to be available in the description so stay tuned for that and let's see how this gameplay goes um if again if you need any cards go to ptcgl store deco gaming atlas collectibles all that great stuff okay so we're gonna call heads because we're feeling lucky today and we have this mighty charizard coin and of course we had to get tails um that's fine um we just we're not gonna go first and maybe our opponent will draw a prize card and we can punch back harder with Charizard EX as its damage increases turn by turn. So we got some options when it comes down to it. Um, and yeah, our opponent's going to go first. Nothing too spooky here. We did start with a pretty good hand. Um, I wouldn't have mind to see a battle VIP pass there. But Charmander, we got the new one. Um, I also have this deck fully blinked up, which is super nice. Um... There's a really, there's a lot of pretty cards when it comes to this deck. So if you are looking to get any of that, uh, that's cool. Metal energy, superior, um, superior is weak to fire. However, <clears throat> they are, uh, we are grass weak here. So we do have to keep that in mind. Um, I think what I want to do here is probably just get set up with more, um, things in play. So let's just go ahead and, uh. I mean, we could go Arvin, and Arvin does search for things. So, you want to know what? Let's go for, uh, let's not get down Luminion, but let's get down, um, let's get down a Pidgey. Let's go Ultra Ball, <clears throat> discarding this and this. Let's go ahead and go with, um, maybe I don't want to discard the boss. I need to think about that a little bit more, but it's already gone, so, like, whatever. Our opponent's not sniping us that's fine 
Uh, let's go Luminion here. Surge our deck, yes. Uh, for Arvin, yes. We can also just check through and see what else is going on with this deck. We did prize like a Charizard EX. Like, we did prize... Uh, no, we have the Rare Candy in our hand, so that's something to consider. Uh, there is Arvin. Let's go for Battle VIP Pass. Let's go for uh, the Forest Seal Stone. And we will go Battle VIP Pass, grabbing another Charmander, grabbing another Pidgey. I think that sounds completely valid. Um, and I am going to put the Forest Seal Stone down onto the Luminion. I think that that's fair. And I'm going to keep it there because there's nothing that we can do. We want to keep that in case our opponent goes like Path Judge and we can get out of it. So we are going to lose a Charmander. Maybe we should have grabbed another Charmander. And uh, I don't think they would have brought up a Pidgey. But we'll see how it ends up playing out. Um, not sure what our opponent's doing here. Maybe this is the Agron deck. I'm also fine just to get a six card hand. We could just draw better. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with Rare Candy, Pidgeot. Um, <clears throat> maybe we could even get, like, there, there's a few things that we can do, uh, I think, at the very least. So they're going to hit us for the knockouts. I'm going to send up the this dude, the Pidgey, uh, because we can get the free retreat with the Pidgeot EX. So think about every single thing that you can be looking for. The Forest Seal Stone does allow us to search for, like, a Zard, and the Pidgeot's going to allow us to search for a rare candy. So we can just bring up the Superior and maybe knock it out. Um, we're still, like, a card off. I'd really like to be able to get out an Entei. So hopefully we can draw either an Ultra Ball, a Nest Ball, or something. Um didn't get exactly what we're looking for uh so that's kind of tough um let's go rare candy onto our pidgeot here because that's really going to be like what we're searching for um we don't have a great way to attack the superior or knock out arceus v-star i mean i guess we could go rare candy um one two three minus one off the five one two three four we could get the energy off the arceus v-star um, so I do think that does sound pretty good. Um, and when I think about it is that we could get the energy off the Arceus V-Star. Um, uh, sorry, not the energy. We could get the knockout on the Arceus V-Star if we're able to find an energy, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. So I don't want to just like, I'm not playing boss because we're not getting the knockout. I think I want to just play Arvin. Um, and for the Pokemon tool card, I'm just going to go choice belts. And I'm just going to go Nest Ball. Um, again, like, there's just nothing that I have that gets the knockout here. Um, so I'm going to try to maybe, like, take a turn off. I think that's really what I'm looking for. Um, Nest Ball, I need to just grab another Charmander. Um, I need to go Quick Search here. Searching my deck for a rare candy. And I'm just going to, like, save everything else. I'm going to retreat and, like, sacrifice a Pidgey, I think. I don't need... You can't use more than one quick search ability, so we're fine. Um, I'm just going to pass my turn here. Because we can't get the knockout on the Superior. We can't get the knockout... Like, we could maybe get the knockout on the Arc V-Star... Um, well, they only drew one prize card, so 210. Um, we couldn't have got it because we were missing a fire energy to attack with the Radiant Zard. So in this case, like, I'm just not going forward with these attacks. Like, um, it doesn't make sense for us to go forward with these attacks. And maybe our opponent will, like, they still have their V-Star, they still have a lot of things. Like, I don't know what they're necessarily going for. If they go boss on our Lumineon, that's certainly going to suck. Um... It is going to put them down to three prize cards. I still think we have a chance to win this game, though. Um, because Zard does have, like, a wild amount of HP. Their superior V-Star is going to be really what's difficult for us to deal with here. Um, and that's really where I'm trying to find an answer. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they just went boss and yeeted our Lumineon. Okay, uh, Adventures Discovery I'm completely fine with. Um, that's such a nice surprise. Because next turn we can go Rare Candy, grab a Zard and then grab an Entei, and then knock this out. Or we can grab a Radiant Charizard. I think both of those are fine. Uh, the Duraludon is fine. So Arc, Superior, Duraludon. Interesting deck choice, um, especially with all the Lugia out in this Pokemon 151 format. I think Duraludon is quite cool. 
So they're going to knock out our Pidgey. The Pidgey's onto the Lost Zone. And I think, like, we have to deal with Superior. Superior is, like, the scariest thing for us to deal with. Um, we can knock out this, knock out this, and then maybe we'll find out something else that we can knock out. They only hit for 220, so that's fine. Um, I think we need to get out Radzard, and Radzard is minus two energies off of five, which is three. Um, so let's go ahead and go quick search. Uh, we're gonna grab our Charizard first. We're not gonna evolve because we have to play it down the same turn. Um, yeah, and I think we just have to go with Radzard. So we're gonna go that. We're gonna go um, Star Alchemy. Uh, we probably wanna end up grabbing a Nest Ball. I just wanna double check to make sure that Radzard during, okay, it just can't attack. I wanna make sure that you could use it by like resistance. Is there anything that I wanna pitch out of our hand? Uh, I don't care about Manaphy. Um, yeah, the Manaphy kind of sucks for us. Uh, if we had a nest ball, which I don't know if I passed one, yeah, we're just gonna grab this. There's not enough that we can actually like pitch out of our deck. So let's put the Radzard down. Let's go rare candy into this. And the reason why we're going up this is so that our Charizard is safe, by the way. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yes. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and go. I'd love for us to attach an energy otherwise, but we can't. We're gonna go ahead and retreat here and we're gonna go boss's orders onto our superior, onto their superior. And if they knock us out, then we're getting them into that like range of where we can just get the knockout on pretty much anything. Um, so as the game progresses, 500 damage is a lot. Um, we're really able to like punish our opponent for drawing prize cards. Like, next turn, there is a real chance that we just go Penny, um, Lumineon, and, like, they have to deal with Radiant Charizard, otherwise Radiant Charizard can clear up this entire game. Um, if they don't, then, like, there's, there's a whole bunch of things that just could happen. Um, we're still also on top deck mode for a significant portion of things, like, we don't have the energies, like, I wish that we didn't have to use Radiant Charizard there, but I just couldn't have... The Entei getting knocked out potentially by the Draladon VMAX or anything else like that. Like, if they just go 220 and our Radzard's just gone, that's fine. Our opponent's drawn three prize cards. I, I don't know if they're just going to go boss here. If they go boss, we could just go boss. Um, because I don't think they have the damage output to deal with things. Like, we could just go boss, boss first. We'll have to see what they put down on their bench, but I'm just not sure. The Flying Pikachu, that's fine. Um, I don't know if I want to attack the Flying Pikachu yet, if it makes sense. Maybe we will, just because that might be end up being a little bit annoying. Um, after our opponent's drawn four prize cards, um, I just want to double check here. Our opponent's drawn four prize cards. Four times three is... Um, 120 120 180 we actually get the knockout with the chars rdx so if we do this send up pidgeot um we'll see what we end up getting here we end up getting arvin which gets us rare candy rare candy ends up getting us uh charizard i think we just go for the knockout on the active because they can't do 280 to this pidgeot ex um so let's go arvin searches us for a rare candy there's no other Pokemon tools. Uh, Quick Search searches us for... Um, at this point, we probably just want to get rid of cards like with Ultra Ball. So let's go Quick Search. We have a higher chance of drawing into other cards. Always think about thinning your deck. Um, Ultra Ball, you can see we have two energies there. So we're all chilling. Um, so let's go Ultra Ball. We don't need this Mana Fee. We don't need... Um, like I said, the Forest Steel Stone, we've already used that. Let's go for the Charizard EX. Uh, nothing in play that's stopping us. Let's go Rare Candy into the Charizard EX. And now we're going to search our deck for a couple energies. Yes, one, two. Um, we're just going to power up the two energies onto the Zard here. So our Zard is hitting for 180 plus four prize cards taken. So our opponent drawing prize cards certainly has put them into a tough position. They are a V Pokemon. So 180 plus 120, 300, 330. And uh, we should be pretty good to just take the knockout here. 
Um, if if we didn't, we would have just gone for boss, but we're going to go 330. There's no special energies in sight. And I'm not sure what our opponent does here. Um, if they decide to do anything funny, I mean, I guess, I guess one thing that we probably didn't account for is that our opponent could evolve into a flying Pikachu VMAX boss, bring up Pidgeot EX. And that would be their, like, I mean, it, it's definitely a possibility and I should have thought of that and I should have knocked this out with the, with the Radiant Charizard. So if I lose, that's my bad that I didn't um, fully prevent my opponent from winning the game. Um, however, I saw the Duralan on VMAX and wanted to get the knockout and show that. So that's definitely my bad, but we're not getting bossed. We made it. <laughs> Our opponent just has the Iono, so uh, this is fine. As long as they don't play a path to the peak down, which I can only assume a deck that plays Radiant, Alakazam, um, Arceus V-Star, and, uh, oh yeah, it's in the Law Zone. Um, their Duraludon VMAX, like, everything there just is however it goes. So, that says, flip a coin if, has, if has during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from an effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. So, here's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to go Quick Search. Um, and Quick Search probably just wins us the game in any capacity. Um, we are just going to go, again, I just want to double check to make sure. So, if heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from an effects of attacks done to this Pokemon. Um, so, done to the flying Pikachu. If we go with Escape Rope, um, this has three retreat. I know we could just grab boss, but escape rope also just like is extra preventative. Um, let's just go escape rope. We haven't retreated yet. So we can always retreat from the Pidgeot into something else. And I think our opponent's just going to lose the game. Uh, so we're just going to do that. We're going to go ahead, retreat back, send up Charizard EX, and we are going to go for burning darkness for a knockout again, really bringing this gameplay back, allowing us to win with the Charizard EX deck absolutely sweet um maybe could have played a little bit better but you want to know what Charizard X? there's a lot of movement there and um i thought it was a really cool game so as you can see we had a lot of really cool things going on in that game and i mean i didn't miss the arceus v star the pidgeot ex really seemed to come in clutch so that being said um pidgeot ex really worked allowing us to search things out the four seal stone worked out things to getting us things out even though we had a weird matchup against the arceus uh superior flying pikachu uh, Duraludon VMAX deck that had a lot of answers to our deck. We were able to kind of uh, deconstruct it and have some answers. So this is this going to be a deck that we're going to see at Peoria? I definitely think Charizard uh, is going to be seeing more play. That means that Lugia might go down a little bit in play and we might see some grass type archetypes coming out and seeing some success or at least some grass type tech cards. We'll have to see how it plays out, but stay tuned for a lot of content from the Shuffle Squad with Pokemon 151 releasing um, already on PTCG Live and in stores, and it's legal October 6th. We will have a lot of really great things uh, going on on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna have our top 10 best decks in the Pokemon 151 format, so stay tuned for an all brand new list of decks from your my truly, I was about to say yourself, myself, yours truly um and uh stay tuned for more great deck profiles from a uh, few members on the squad as well um if you haven't already pick up some cards from deck out gaming ptcg l store and atlas collectibles all of our discount codes are available both the lists are available here to copy and paste into ptcg live like share subscribe let us know in the comments what you think all those things really do help out the channel we are trying to get to 20,000 subs so any part that you do really helps us create more content check out our patreon so our patreon is uh really 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 been booming lately so we appreciate all the support from everyone check out for articles all of our early deck lists and more content available from the squad and of course um if you're trying to sell some bulk go to tcgbulk.com and uh again links are all in the description everyone and uh we only use ultimate guard products at the shuffle squad so check them out if you are looking for the best sleeves deck boxes and other pokemon tcg accessories that's a whole mouthful i'm gonna go uh <laughs> i'm gonna go make myself some lunch so i'll catch up with all y'all later let me know in the comments what you think i'm eating for lunch peace out and have a great day hey trainers tired of having too many cards lying around i know that feeling and i know what a hassle it is to try and sell those cards but selling bulk is now easier than ever with tcg bulk find tons of potential buyers in a single place you just download the app 
look for the best buyer near you and carefully pack your bulk, ship it, and you get paid. It really is that simple. Turn the cards you don't want into the cards you absolutely need for your next deck. You made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching this entire video from the Shuffle Squad. Honestly, from the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every person that supports our content, watches what we have going on every single day, every single week, even from time to time, and uh, continuously allows us to have a forum to project our creative content towards the Pokemon TCG community. So if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and even leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm. That being said, we'll catch you with our next video. Thanks again. Take it easy.